Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to create a custom streaming policy with Xinda Networks. So, because our website is basically streaming video all the time out to you guys, um, the Xinda Networks box we have is currently sitting in front of our websites. We want to create something that will ensure that our uh, videos are always given a lot of bandwidth or a guaranteed amount of bandwidth. So, we want to optimize our streaming. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do, we'll go into optimize and you'll see a lot of our default policies. If we pull the drop down here, you'll see that you can't actually go ahead and edit your default policies. You can remove them from your actual policy, but you can't actually edit them. So our streaming policy that we currently have in the number one slot there um, has a limit of low, so 2% to 10% burstable. So that's not enough, at least from, from our current situation. So but we're going to go into policies and create a new custom policy. All right, so in our policy name, we can type in pretty much whatever we want. So let's be, I guess, somewhat specific. So we'll type in custom streaming. All right, in our schedule, we're going to leave that as always. And in our action, we want to optimize. Now, in our filter rules, we're going to choose all. In both directions, we want to optimize streaming. And in our application, we're obviously going to choose streaming. <clears throat> And our guaranteed bandwidth, instead of having 2% to 10% burstable, we're going to go to from 50 to 80. All right, so we want to guarantee that our actual streaming gets uh, the optimization that it needs. And our burst priority, we'll keep it at high, and then we'll go ahead and create new policy. And you'll see in our drop downs after we take a look at our policies that we have the option of choosing custom streaming. So <clears throat> let's just save this and we'll scroll down here to ensure that our policy is still there. There we go. So there's our custom streaming policy with our priorities and our optimization set perfectly. Let's go into our optimization tab here and you'll see in our drop down we can choose now the custom streaming policy. Now before we want to add it to in internet inbound you obviously have to put in the order of which you want this policy. So it's like firewall rules in the sense guys. So we want this to be at the top. We're going to give it a lower priority than um, or a policy number sorry than 20. All right, so we'll go ahead and add to internet inbound, and you'll see now our policy's taking place. And we can do the same thing for our internet outbound. <clears throat> and now we're ensuring pretty much that we have um, our actual streaming guaranteed and optimized at 50 to 80% of our bandwidth. And again, just like with most other appliances or um, technology, you gotta save the changes. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for coming out. We'll see you on the next one.